All right. We are still working on the topic one review. And we are on problem five out of 35. Long ways to go yet. Um, but let's keep at it here, keep moving. So we have two points and they want us to use the slope formula and just find the slope. So when you, the slope formula, some people do that different. Some people say change in Y over change in X. Some say that it's like rise over run. And some use this formula that says like Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And I'll tell you, my preferred method is I kind of just visualize it. It's sort of a formula, but I'm doing it in my head. So the rise or the Ys are on top. If I'm at one on my Y and I go up to five on my Y, I went up four. And then I, as long as I go in that same order, but with my Xs now, taking and thinking about these two Xs, if I'm at eight and I move to four, so I'm at eight over here somewhere, and I move to the four right here, that was going left and that's negative. So um, again, when I was at the one and I went up to the five, that was up four, up's positive. Now I'm going left four, so that's negative. So that's gonna be a negative one for the slope. If you want to use one of the other formulas or one of the others, I think that is perfectly fine. I don't think they truly mean you have to use the slope formula. Um, it's the method that makes the most sense to you is what's important and kind of having an idea that all the rest of them exist as well. So negative one is what we said. Let's see. There we go. So hopefully that's good for you. If not, have another listen to the video and take a look, or there's lots of YouTube videos out there you can find that explain this topic. Good luck.